Welcome to Electron Online. Now let's try these expressions which are a little bit more difficult to simplify. Again, we're not solving anything, we're simply simplifying these numerical expressions. So when we have fractions, and in the numerator we have addition, subtraction, sometimes multiplication, we have exponents, what do we do? Well, we need to treat the numerator separately and the denominator separately. It's kind of like they were in parentheses, so we're going to work them simplify the numerator and simplify the denominator separate from one another. So we'll start up in the right corner here. So we'll simplify the numerator and we'll simplify the denominator but not together. So this is equal to 3 squared. Now remember when we have addition and subtraction and exponents, the exponents have to come first. So 3 squared which is 9 minus 4 squared which is 16 plus 1 and we can also simplify the denominator but not together with the numerator so we do that separately so we have 8 minus the minus 3 quantity squared so this is minus 3 times minus 3 which is a positive 9 but we're subtracting it from the from the 8 so that, be, that will be a positive 9 negative 3 squared is positive 9 minus 4. All right now we can simplify the numerator again we do the first operation first the second operation second because they have equal priority Negative, so subtractions and additions have equal importance, but we start from left and work towards the right. So 9 minus 16 is minus 7 plus 1 divided by 8 minus 9 is minus 1 minus 4. And finally, we simplify the numerator. Minus 7 plus 1 is a minus 6 divided by minus 1 minus 4 is a minus 5. Now we can simplify the numerator and denominator together. So we simplify the numerator to its smallest, simplest form. We simplify the denominator to its smallest, simplest form. Now we can see that we can, we can get rid of the negative signs. We have a negative in the numerator, negative in the denominator. So we can multiply both the top and the bottom by negative 1 and write this as a positive 6 over a positive 5. When we divide a negative by a negative, we get a positive. Over here, we're going to approach it the same way. We're going to simplify the numerator and the denominator separately. So first, we simplify the numerator by starting with the exponent. So we have 6 minus 3 squared, which is 9 minus 5. In the denominator, we have 8 minus a minus 2 cubed. So minus 2 times a minus 2 times a minus 2, that's a negative 8. So negative 8 minus 10. Simplifying some more. We have two subtractions. We have to do the left one first before we do the right one. So 6 minus 9 is a minus 3, minus 5, divided by 8 minus a minus 8. I'm going to use the distributive property, distribute the negative onto this negative 8, so that it becomes 8 plus 8 minus 10. So this becomes in the numerator minus 3 minus 5, which is minus 8. In the denominator, I must add these two before I subtract the 10. 8 plus 8. 16 minus 10 and finally this is equal to minus 8 16 minus 10 is equal to positive 6. Now I can simplify by dividing both the numerator and the denominator by the same number. I can divide by 2, divide by 2 I get 4, divide by 2 I get 3 so ultimately this becomes minus 4 over 3. And the last exercise right here, I have absolute value signs, so I treat those exactly the same as I treat parentheses. I do what's inside them first before I do anything else. So here I have 3 minus 9, so this becomes 3 minus 9 is a minus 6, minus, here I must take care of the exponents first, 2 cubed, which is 8, minus 3 squared, which is 9. Then I simplify this, I end up with a minus 6, oop, minus 6. Not 8, minus 1, minus 6 inside absolute value signs, minus 8 minus 9, which is a minus 1. Now I can apply the principle of the absolute value signs. I can then change what's inside to a positive number and remove the absolute value signs. So this becomes a positive 6 minus a positive 1. The absolute value signs around the negative 1 make the negative 1 into a positive 1, but I'm still subtracting the results of that. Now 6 minus 1 is equal to 5 and that's the simplest form of my original expression. And so this is how you simplify these three. Simply follow the rules. When you have a fraction, simplify the numerator and simplify the denominator separately as if there were parentheses around them. Work what's there first before you combine the numerator and the denominator. And that 
ಎಸ್ ಹಾವಿಸ್ಟಾನ್